Republican primaries are underway in New Hampshire, with the GOP set to choose their candidate to take on Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan. Today's primary will decide the final matchup for November's midterm elections. For more on this, let's bring in our political director, Rick Klein. So, Rick, Republicans have been scouring for the best candidates to endorse in battleground states like New Hampshire. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is calling it candidate quality. Former President Trump has not endorsed a candidate there. So who is the GOP banking on in New Hampshire? Yeah, this is another one of those showdowns pitting the MAGA movement, the Trump movement uh, against Mitch McConnell and the more establishment wing of the party. Trump is not endorsed, but Don Baldock, the retired uh, army general, is seen as the uh, Trumpiest candidate in the race. Uh, he, he has also been leading in the polls coming into the election. Uh, Chuck Morris is the state Senate president. He's got the support of Mitch McConnell as well as the state's very popular Republican governor. Uh, what's interesting here, though, is that we've seen Democrats get involved in this primary pretty, pretty late. He, the, attacking the more establishment candidate as being too closely aligned to Mitch McConnell. It's a strategy that's played out in different circumstances in other places, but it's widely seen as an attempt to get the most extreme, the most far right wing candidate possible under the presumption that that person might be easiest to beat in the general election. So, Rick, we know Democrats are hoping to hang on in a tough environment as Maggie Hassan works to defend her seat in Senate. What's their strategy? Yeah, and this is a piece of it, is to, to try to pick your own uh, opponent and find someone that you think is too extreme for the state. Now, that's a very risky strategy because you could end up having in office in a pla from a place like New Hampshire someone who denies the legitimacy of the last election, like Don Baldock. But we've seen from Senator Hassan, who won a very narrow victory uh, six years ago, an attempt to try to, to, to distance herself in part from President Biden, talking a lot about immigration and border issues, even though it's pretty far from the U.S.-Mexico border, and also emphasize the abortion rights issue. Uh, that is a big, big play. We've just heard from Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina that he intends to introduce a bill that would have a nationwide ban on abortion. That is a political manna from heaven for a lot of Democrats who want to make abortion rights as big of an issue as possible. They see that as a clear motivating issue in a, in a relatively uh, socially liberal state like New Hampshire, very fiscally conservative, but definitely a battleground state. They're hoping that uh, th there's ways to thread that needle even what might be a tough election year for Democrats. Yeah, Rick, before we let you go, looking ahead, depending on how this election there shapes up. What could this mean for the future of Capitol Hill? Yeah, this is the end of the primary season. It's been six rollicking months. Uh, and the question about what kind of Congress we're going to have is going to depend on how states like New Hampshire end up voting. New Hampshire has a tendency to catch waves in either direction, uh, either that uh, being a red wave or a bluer wave. It certainly has trended a bit toward the Democrats recently. Uh, but these are the kind of races and the kind of states that are going to determine the majority in both the House and the Senate. And as we talked about, the type of majorities that we're talking about, so, so many of these Republican candidates, handpicked by Trump, in part are also are also emphasizing uh, their skepticism about the election process. Many of them, like Baldock today, saying that the last election was not legitimate. All right, Rick Klein, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.